Early Music Ensemble Concerto Köln, that's Cologne, Germany for the rest of us, opened its performance Halloween night at the American Theater by announcing that a Vivaldi selection on the program would not be played, explaining, we were stuck for two days in Manhattan without electricity. Then they launched cheerfully into Concerto Grosso, Opus 6, Number 1 in G by Handel, measured dotted rhythms in the first movement, a bright and lively allegro, sinuous lines intertwining in the adagio, another light and cheerful allegro, and a final allegro. Concertmaster Mayumi Hirasaki communicated with alert eyes and smiles. The group, which plays without a permanent conductor, is comprised of three first violins, three second violins, two violas, cello, double bass, harpsichord, flute, recorder, and bassoon. All period instruments, so the strings had odd-looking bows and no fine tuners, the cello had no end pin, and the transverse flute was made of ebony, not silver, with a timbre all its own. Concerto Köln seeks to restore to the repertoire works of less familiar composers. So in addition to Handel, Vivaldi, and Telemann, they played two works by 18th century composer Evaristo Dallabaco. His Concerto, Opus 5, Number 3, began with an allegro at a blistering pace, everything fizzing around in the treble while the bass and cello were clear and strong. In subsequent movements, the ensemble highlighted contrast between prestissimo energy, pensive languor, and brightly dancing cheer, with the flutes in constant dialogue with the larger group. In Vivaldi's G minor concerto for strings and harpsichord, the cello began with descending scales. Measured continuo was followed by busy sweeps of strings. Then bass and cello just went to town. After the intermission, another Vivaldi concerto for bassoon and orchestra in E minor featured bassoonist Yves Bertin, whose very long fingers and impressive breath control made the composer's virtuosic demands look almost easy, finishing with quick cascades of coruscating ornamentation. Very Vivaldi. Dallabaco's Concerto No. 6 in D major must be a favorite for Concerto Köln, whose faces were wreathed with smiles. Hirosaki and second violinist Jörg Buschhaus played a delightful conversation, standing opposite each other, then joined in a trio with cellist Werner Matsky. The third movement had jaunty triple rhythms, and the final allegro just galloped along. The final work on the program was Telemann's E minor concerto for recorder, flute, strings, and continuo, which required extraordinary technical proficiency. In the Largo, Marianne Moonen on flute and Cordula Breuer on recorder were brilliant, with plucked accompaniment in the strings, fast and highly ornamented. Their first encore was Bach's ravishing air on a G-string, whose slow tension and increasing intensity brought the audience to its feet. A second encore, the fast and flashy presto movement from Sammartini's Sinfonia in A major, had the same result. From the other side of the footlights, I'm M.D. Ridge.